Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Heather Lewis and today we are going to be making over another tall boy dresser and this dresser also came from the same place that the last dresser came from where basically the renter had up and left so the landlord said that everything was free for the taking and I scored big on several pieces of wood furniture that I now get to flip and turn a profit. This specific dresser is solid wood and very heavy. It has five large drawers and none of the drawer fronts have any actual hardware. Instead, it has this really unique built-in handles. It almost feels like it has shiplap on the dresser. This other side does have a few stickers on it, but I think they will be pretty easy to remove, so I'm not too worried about that. However, this top does have some significant damage, which we are gonna have to repair right away in the makeover. As you can see, I can lift this top right off and that's definitely not how it's supposed to be. We're gonna have to somehow secure that back down. As you've seen in the title, I do have some really fun plants with this dresser, which includes some um, paintable wallpaper that I'm going to be applying on this dresser. So you guys will just have to stay tuned to see how that's done and how it turns out. Typically, I'd say that we got to remove the hardware first, but because there really is no hardware and the handles are kind of built in, we are gonna start with cleaning. So let's go ahead and do that now. So typically when it comes to cleaning, I like to use Dawn dish soap because I always have it in my home and it's a really good degreaser. But in the last video, I used this all purpose cleaner and I thought that it did a really good job cleaning the surface and also removing some of that musty odor that piece has. And because this piece is from the same place, this piece also has the same smell. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. It's super convenient because it's in a spray bottle and then I can just wipe it up with the paper towels behind me. Last time I did also go ahead and clean again with my typical Dawn dish soap and warm water, but I feel that that is not necessary. I think that was just an extra step that I took that really didn't need to be taken. So this time I'm just gonna stick to this and see if this does a good enough job. With how well it worked last time, I think just going through with this once will be perfect. All right, so to repair this top, I have been using these flathead Phillips um, screws and I think they are in the one inch. So I've already started this because I wanted to make sure that this would work without the wood cracking. And so far it's been good. Obviously I don't want these screws to sit out. So I am sinking them in and this is pretty soft wood so it's easy to do that. You can see each screw here is below the surface. So I can go back and wood fill and then after I'm done wood filling, I can sand it down and it'll be as if it were never there. While the wood filler is drying here, I'm gonna pull the drawer fronts out so that we can get started on doing something really special with those. So my plan for these drawer fronts here are to do something a little bit different and something I haven't done before 
which is applying this textured paintable wallpaper. This wallpaper is such a pretty design and I think it's gonna look so good by the time we're done. I did get this wallpaper off of Amazon and there are several different designs and patterns that you can choose from. So I'll make sure to leave a link to it down below in case you wanna try it out for yourself. Otherwise, we're gonna get started on applying this. Again, I've never done anything like this before, so I think I'm def there's definitely going to be a learning curve, but I think it'll turn out really good. First things first, I need to measure out the drawers so that I can measure it out to this and get the right size. The first three are 27 inches by seven and one eighth. I have the third one over there just because I put some wood filler on it because there was a really big gap. So we may not get to it the same time we get to these, but it will be gotten to. And then these two bigger drawers are 27 by 10 and seven eighths. So these two are the same and then the top three are the same, which makes it a lot easier for me. Now, if I put these two first drawers together, as you can see, that is plenty for how wide this wallpaper is. So I should be able to get these two drawers in one swipe this way and then we can work on the rest from there. I'm gonna go ahead and measure out the wallpaper and cut it to size for all of these drawer fronts. And would you look at that, at this point, all of them are cut to size. It did take a little bit longer than I expected. I just wanted to make sure to line the actual pattern up. So I had to make some weird cuts on the wallpaper just to ensure that they would line up like this. But now that they're all cut to size, we can go ahead and actually start pasting them onto the drawer fronts. I am a little bit worried because I've never done this before. Luckily, there is a lot of leftover wallpaper, so if worse comes to worse, um, we can kind of start over on that drawer and do it again. I think I'm gonna start with this first drawer. I'm gonna move it off to the side where I've got a bucket of water because we're gonna need that. All right, so I am gonna be working with this first sheet here. Now, you guys may have noticed that these handles are built in and I didn't cut out any circles for them. So I'm not sure how exactly this is going to work, but I think I'm going to actually get the wallpaper itself onto the drawer front and then use like an X-Acto knife to cut around the edges while it's still wet. I don't know if that's gonna work. This first piece is going to determine that, but I think I'm just gonna go for it. So what you do is you roll this paper and kind of roll it like that. It doesn't have to be super tight. I'm gonna roll it like this and then just kind of like clip on to the edges. And now I've got this bucket. It's not super hot and it's not super cold. It's kind of a little bit warmer than room temperature. And I am just going to dip it in there. And I'm kind of scared to do it because this just seems so weird. I'm so used to peel and stick wallpaper and this is not what I'm used to. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do it. So rolling up my sleeves and we're dunking. Oh my gosh, so it gets sticky like right away. And I'm pretty sure we leave it in here for like a couple minutes. So we're gonna leave it in for a little bit. I take it out and fold it in on each other. And then it's also supposed to sit like that for a few minutes, I'm thinking so that it gets tacky and then we can apply it. Okay, so it's been a few minutes and the inside of this has like this gel-like texture so I I think that's ready. I'm gonna go ahead and get this drawer front here 
Now I also want to be careful to paste it on the right way so that it's, you know, good for the next drawer. I think this is good. What's nice is you definitely have some wiggle room to apply this and then like once you get it on, it's not just stuck on right away, which is nice. Now I'm gonna take this sponge and kind of dampen it. Make sure to really go around the edges and the sides. Might even try this microfiber towel because I think the point of it is just to make sure that everything is laid down. So it doesn't matter if it's a microfiber towel or a sponge. All right, so I got these holes and I cut them out with this blade, but I'm just going to leave it to let it dry and we'll go on to the rest. yesterday to cover up all the nail holes is one of my main things that needs to be sanded down. Also, if you can see right here, there is a little bit of a ledge and I would like to try to sand that down just a little bit and round that out more if I can. I have a medium grit on right now because the body also needs a scuff sand and I think it'll be able to level out the wood filler. Anytime you're sanding, make sure you are using the proper PPE. I have this respirator and some goggles that I'm going to be putting on to protect my lungs and my eyes. I didn't always do this when I started furniture flipping and I totally regret it. I just want to make sure that I am keeping myself safe and I hope that you guys are as well. So now that I finished sanding, I went ahead and I just kind of cleaned it all off. It's very dark because it's all wet right now. But once this dries, we can move into primer. And then after priming, we can get into painting. For primer, I'm using the Zinsser 123 primer. I love this primer. I will use it over and over and over and over and over again. It's a great adhesion primer. I would say that you get the most bang for your buck with this. This primer has literally never disappointed me and I just absolutely love it. later I did go ahead and prime the inside of the handles I just figured that that probably should be primed before we get on with paint and I'm not gonna lie to you guys I am questioning if this flip is going to actually turn out and look good or not after priming it I kind of stepped back and looked at it and I really am questioning things my original plan was to paint it white but because the primer is now on and this 
gives me an idea of what it looks like white. I am totally against that idea now. At this point, I'm not really sure how this flip is going to turn out. We'll just have to wait and see until color goes on, but that is the next step. So let's go ahead and mix up the paint. I already mentioned that my first idea was to paint it white. And after looking at it, I thought that was a terrible idea. So um, now I'm doing the exact opposite and going black. This color is Tricorn Black from Sherwin-Williams. Uh, I was talking to the guy at the store and he recommended this specific paint. So we're going to go ahead and give it a try. It's the Emerald brand in satin. I'm not very familiar with Sherwin-Williams paint, honestly. I have used it a handful of times, but I don't use it that often just because I usually don't have it around. I'm not loving how the dresser is looking now, and I'm hoping that this paint is the encouragement that I need for it to look better. Sometimes it's one of those things where it looks worse before it gets better and I'm really hoping that's the case here. This paint, the Tricorn Black, is their truest, darkest black color and it also has a built-in top coat. So I should be able to get away with just a few coats of this paint and then we'll know what the dresser's looking like and we'll know if it was a successful flip or if it looks terrible. So let's get this paint on so that hopefully it starts to look better. It did take two coats to reach full coverage on this dresser and although I really love the paint I still go back and forth on how this dresser turned out. Usually right when it's finished I'm either like I really love it or no this was terrible but with this piece I'm just really not 100%. So we're gonna get into the final reveal now. You guys let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you like this flip or do you not like this flip?